Welcome to Chanel the latest. As the war with Russia stretches on, Satud is a contest to make more and deadlier flying machines. That means a fight over global electronics supply chains that run through China surrounded by rooms filled with stacks of cluster munitions and half-made thermobaric bombs. A soldier from Ukraine's 92nd Mechanized Brigade recently worked on the final part of a deadly supply chain that stretches from China's factories to a basement five miles from the front lines of the war with Russia. This is where Ukrainian soldiers turn hobbyist drones into combat weapons. At a cluttered desk, the soldier attached a modified battery to a quadcopter so it could fly farther. Pilots would later zip tie a homemade shell to the bottom and crash the gadgets into Russian trenches and tanks, turning the drones into human-guided missiles. The aerial vehicles have been so effective at combat that most of the drone rotors and airframes that filled the basement workshop would be gone by the end of the week. Finding new supplies has become a full-time job. At night we do bombing missions, and during the day we think about how to get new drones, said Ols Malyurevich, 44, an officer in the 92nd Mechanized Brigade. This is a constant quest. More than any conflict in human history, the fighting in Ukraine is a war of drones. That means a growing reliance on suppliers of the flying vehicles, specifically, China. While Iran and Turkey produce large, military-grade drones used by Russia and Ukraine, the cheap consumer drones that have become ubiquitous on the front line largely come from China, the world's biggest maker of those devices. That has given China a hidden influence in a war that is waged partly with consumer electronics. As Ukrainians have looked at all varieties of drones and reconstituted them to become weapons, they have had to find new ways to keep up their supplies and to continue innovating on the devices. Yet those efforts have faced more hurdles as Chinese suppliers have dialed back their sales, as new Chinese rules to restrict the export of drone components took effect. We're examining every possible way to export drones from China, because whatever one may say, they produce the most there," said Mr. Malyurevich, who helps source drone supplies for his unit. For the better part of a decade, Chinese companies such as DJI, Ehang and Autel have churned out drones at an ever-increasing scale. They now produce millions of the aerial gadgets a year for amateur photographers, outdoor enthusiasts and professional videographers, far outpacing other countries. DJI, China's biggest drone maker, has a more than 90% share of the global consumer drone market, according to Droneanalyst, a research group. Yet in recent months, Chinese companies have cut back sales of drones and components to Ukrainians, according to a New York Times analysis of trade data and interviews with more than a dozen Ukrainian drone makers, pilots and trainers. The Chinese firms still willing to sell often require buyers to use complicated networks of intermediaries, similar to those Russia has used to get around American and European export controls. Some Ukrainians have been forced to beg, borrow and smuggle what's needed to make up for the gadgets being blown out of the sky. Ukraine loses an estimated 10,000 drones a month, according to the Royal United Services Institute, 